Till now, we were studying that composition scheme is a benefit given to middle class businessmen. That is, for the ones whose turnover is less than 1 crore rupees. But there are certain persons, there are certain businesses for whom the benefit of composition scheme is not available even if their turnover is less than 1 crore rupees. That means, even if my turnover is less than 1 crore rupees, I cannot opt for composition scheme. So there are several businesses. So in this class, we will be studying those businesses or those persons who are not eligible to opt for composition scheme even though their turnover is less than the threshold limit. The first one is supplier of services. The first point is supplier of services other than supplier of food and articles. That is the one who is providing restaurant services. In simple, service providers cannot opt for composition scheme. That is the simple line. Service providers cannot opt for composition scheme. The only service provider who can opt for composition scheme is the restaurant service providers. Now let us take an example to understand this. Say I have a beauty parlor. I have a beauty parlor and the turnover is 30 lakh rupees. Can I opt for composition scheme? Though my turnover is less than 1 crore rupees, I cannot opt for composition scheme. Why? Because I am supplying services and this service is other than restaurant services. The second point talks about the person supplying any goods which is not taxable under GST Act. Maybe CGST or SGST. Now you may already be knowing which are those goods which is not taxable under GST. That is alcoholic liquor or petrol. Say that I have two businesses. I have two businesses. One is I have a bar where I am supplying alcohol and one more business where I sell books. Now, though this business could have been eligible, selling books is eligible for composition scheme, but I am also selling a non-taxable goods that is alcohol. So, I am not eligible for composition scheme. Now, let us look at the third point. The third point says, a composite dealer cannot make interstate supplies. In simple, a person making an interstate sale cannot opt for composition scheme. Let us take an example to understand this. Say I am in Maharashtra. I am in Maharashtra and I am selling to Punjab. So if I am in Maharashtra and I am selling to Punjab, it becomes interstate sale. In this case, though my turnover is less than 1 crore rupees, Though my turnover is less than 1 crore rupees, I still cannot opt for composition scheme. Why? Because I am making an interstate sale. In short, a person making interstate supply or interstate sale, he cannot opt for composition scheme. You need to notice one important point here. They are only saying a composition dealer cannot make interstate sale. Can he make interstate purchase? That is. If I am in Maharashtra, if I am in Maharashtra, can I purchase from Delhi? Answer is yes. I can purchase from Delhi, but I cannot sell to Delhi. I hope you are clear. So composite dealer cannot make interstate sale, but he can make interstate purchases. So that is a third point to you. Now let us look at the fourth point. The fourth point says a person supplying through e-commerce operator. Let us take an example to understand this point. Say I am a seller of mobile phones. I have a small store and I sell mobile. Now if I am making sale through my shop and if my turnover is less than 1 crore rupees, I can opt for composition scheme. This is a clear point. So if I am having my shop and I am selling mobile phone and my turnover is less than 1 crore rupees, I can opt for composition scheme. But now, instead of selling in my shop, I am selling through Amazon. So I am selling through an e-commerce operator. Now even in this case, my turnover is less than 1 crore rupees. But I am selling through an e-commerce operator. In this case also, I cannot opt for composition scheme. So this point is very simple. If I am selling through e-commerce operator, I cannot opt for 
composition scheme even if my turnover is less than 1 crore rupees. Now let us look at the fifth point. This is the very easy point which we already studied that is manufacturer of three goods. Only three goods cannot opt for composition scheme. Which were these three goods? It was ice cream, tobacco and pan masala. So if I am manufacturing ice cream or if I am manufacturing tobacco or I am manufacturing pan masala and even if my turnover is less than 1 crore rupees, I cannot opt for composition scheme. So this is the simple point. Let us look at the sixth point that is the last point in this discussion. The sixth point says a casual taxable person or a non-resident taxable person cannot opt for composition scheme. So if I am a casual taxable person or if I am a non-resident taxable person, I cannot opt for composition scheme. So who were casual taxable person or who were non-resident taxable person, we already discussed in our previous classes. So these are the six persons who are not eligible to opt for composition scheme. Who were they? First we said, any service provider, a person providing any service other than restaurant service is not eligible for composition scheme. Then I said, if a person is supplying a non-taxable items, that is alcoholic liquor or petroleum products, he cannot opt for composition scheme. The third one we discussed that if a person is making outward supply, that is interstate outward supply, in short, if a person is making interstate sale, he cannot opt for composition scheme. Next we studied that a person who is selling through, who is selling through an e-commerce operator cannot opt for composition scheme even if his turnover is less than 1 crore rupees. Then the easier point that is a manufacturer of three goods that is manufacturer of ice cream, manufacturer of tobacco and manufacturer of pan masala cannot opt for composition scheme. The sixth and the last point, the sixth and the last point which said a casual taxable person or a non-resident taxable person cannot opt for composition scheme. So these are the six points you need to remember when the question comes that who are not eligible for composition scheme. From an examination point, this is a very important concept. They may ask three to four mark question asking that explain who are not eligible for composition scheme and you have to reproduce these six points.